Ann here from Knitwit Studios. <laughs> Actually, Knitwit Collections. I wanted to show you a new project that we made today, and it's a uh, explosion box. We used our dress shop collection. You can find that in our store, knitwitcollections.com. But I think it turned out so cute. Now remember, I have never ever done these things before. This is my first foray into these things. Uh, I've now got a couple photo albums under our belt. I've made another little uh, mini tag inspiration. And now uh, this one, which I wanted to share with you today. Uh, it's just a 6x6 six six explosion box. I think it turned out so cute. Like, check out this side. This side and the other side. I know this is going to be awkward are both the same, as well as these two sides, just to make life a little easier. So let's start back here. This side, we just took a cluster from the kit, put it on a piece of paper, and put the fashionista tag on there. I think it turned out adorable. Love the gingham on the top. Again, I told you before, I'm a gingham fan. This side, it's a cluster from the kit, again, with the shoes and the purses, and there's some little bead, uh, pearls in here, and then eat, sleep, shop. Put them all on a little dock dot so that they stick out a little bit. I think it turned out so cute. Here I am picking off some glue strings again. Sorry, bear with me. Technical difficulties there. So, the top, you guys have inspired me. Karina, and, or Kareen, I'm sorry, and Rena are, are members of our design team and they introduced me to these wild orchid flowers. I was gone nuts over them when I saw them do it, so I ordered myself a bunch. So on the top, I've just got a little doily, a lot of those wild orchid flowers. They are so pretty, you guys, so pretty. And little pearls and little ribbon on here, just to give it that nice little top for the top of it, just to finish it off a little bit. I thought about doing some stuff on the side, but I figured it had enough going on, like there is bling on the purse and all the little things that are in here. I thought, you know what, I think I'll just stop there. I did do the bottom of the box too with the striped paper. Never mind that little bit that was on there. And so everything's finished, which I love about it. That's what's so cool about this, guys. This is just paper. Like you took paper, printed off a kit, and made this. It just, it's amazing to me. Like usually you have to go and buy this stuff, like buy the box or do something or buy anything. This is like all just your own paper, stuff you have around the house. And, like, if you have a computer, you're going to have these kits around the house because you can download them so easily. Okay, I did order a bunch of flowers. I did pay for that. Shh, don't tell LG about how much we spent on the flowers. They're fun. That's part of being a girl. Anyway, let's take a look at it, should we? We take off the top of the box. And ready? Ba-ding! Love it. Let me turn it a bit so you can see in the middle of it. Put in a little dress form. Now, I should have thought about this better. See, you, you can see, this is from the kit. There's a dress form and then this dress that I built so that you could actually put them on the dress forms, which we did here. See how cute that turned out? And the little stand, I think what I should have done is put glued when I was putting these two together because there's one on the other side as well so that there's no finish or it's I'm not unfinished is I should have taken a toothpick and stuck it in the little thing, which would have just given it a little more sturdiness. But I'm happy with it as it is. I've got a little pair of pumps down here. Those remind me so much of my mom. My mom had pumps like these when she'd go to her John Deere Christmas parties, her fancy going out times. She had pumps like that. That's what reminded me of it. There's a little shopping bag. I'll get my finger out of the way. A little shopping bag and a little purse by the thing. I think that just turned out so cute. I just took some more wild orchid flowers because I have them and I love them and pop them in on the corners just to fill up some of the space in here. Again, this could have been bigger, but hey, first time, this is what we thought. Uh, put in a little couple of bling. Just uh, These are dollar store little uh, gems. I'm not sure if you can see them. And just glued them down as well. So either side of this book is sort of the same. Uh, these two sides are the same with waterfall cards, and these two are sides with the little magnetic booklets. So I'll show you each. Uh, we'll start with this one. In the back, there is a pocket on here. So you can have a card in here as well. I can take it right out. You can put the uh, picture on there or journaling or whatever you'd like to do. And that just tucks back in. Underneath is the waterfalls. Let me just move this out of the way. It's just going to get in our way. So here's the waterfalls to put your photos on. 
just lovely little papers from the kit. There's so much papers. I loved this paper on the kit. Loved it. Used it lots. So that's that sign. It's a little stiff from the glue still. I haven't been messing around with that. I'm just going to spin it if you bear with me. Ooh, it's like the tilt the world. Here, same thing. Another little card that pulls out. I did add, these are from the collection. I did add the little bling on here. There is bling on the ones, like the pre-made ones from the kit. I did add a little thing in digitally, but I thought I just added something with it. Uh, again, another waterfall. This one's a little easier to open. And so you can get quite a few pictures on there if you want. Close that up. Now my favorite parts, this is my absolute favorite one. I'll turn it this way so you can see. This is so cute. Again, another little card that slides in and out here. But this, the retail therapy is less expensive than real therapy. That's a tag from the kit. We put a little magnet on there. So it's the little booklet. Check it out, people. It opens up. Look at the paper. On the back side, we put in, life is short, buy the shoes. That's a good thing. Life is short, buy the flowers. <laughs> See, I'm living by those models. Check it out. Check it out. Pull this open. Look at all these places for photos. I love it. I love the tones of this kit, too. I know it's not proper to talk about your own stuff. It sounds kind of braggy. Please bear with me. I'm not. If you knew me at all, you would know I am not a braggy person. I'm probably the most insecure person out there when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I just love it. I love the way the tones go together. I think when you close this up, oh, sorry, little dress mannequin. When you close this up, look at how pretty that is. The, the combination of that, ah, oh, it just reminds me of something you'd buy in a store. And like, this is the first time I've ever made one of these explosion boxes. The very first time. This side. Good shoes take you good places. Another, it's exact same thing. I uh, open this up. More dresses, eat, sleep, shop. Pull open these. There's all your papers again. Watch out for that little girl. Beauty Blooms from Within is on the tag. This pulls out, same as the other ones that I showed you. I won't bother boring you with that. Close that up. Would you look at how cute this is? I love it. I just love it. I think it would be so sweet for somebody. Can you imagine this for those pictures when your like daughter or in my case, I don't have a daughter. I have dogs and they're hopefully not going to get married. I'm not one of those people. I'm not dressing them up. They're not getting married. <laughs> anyway, if you had a daughter and you know those pre-wedding photos where they're getting together with their bridesmaids and the mother of the bride and they have all those great photos where they're getting ready. This would be such a beautiful way to present them. Like, or it was a bridal shower, or it was somebody's uh, cocktail party, and just like a woman's theme, obviously it's quite feminine. It's so pretty. Or a girl, if you've got a fashionista in your life, all the quotes are about that with a touch of style, beauty blooms from within. It's so cool. And it's just paper, people. Paper. Like I said, everything I had here, the only thing I bought was the flowers. I even had this little ribbon. You've seen it in my other things. I'm not getting any better tying it, so just deal with that. But that's the way it looks. How cute is that? Let me turn it again so you can have a good look. Is it not just adorable? And then see how it all folds up? It's like a little dollhouse. Watch. Look at that. It's like a little dollhouse. You can look inside. Is that not cute? How cute would it be to make one of these and make it look like a doll? Oh, I've given myself an idea. I think I'm going to make a home kit and have furniture and inside oh with windows little windows that open up and they look outside the box and then there's like an armchair in here it's a little room scene oh i gotta go people i got an idea when inspiration hits you gotta go thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more than this uh see other things that were that have come up like i said i've got a new mini album that i wanted to show Check it out. We'll be putting them on. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the dollhouse idea. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's a little bit of my Barbie sensation from when I was a kid coming out. Let us know. If you'd like the kit, I guess I should tell you again. It's called Dress Shop. It's in our store at uh, www.nitwitcollections.com. It has all the items. Everything that's in this that you see here, all the papers, all the tags, they're in that collection. Check it out. I'm off. I'm going to run and go see if I can't make a dollhouse unless I get bad comments. <laughs> That's it, people. I'm out.